The health status of the patient featured in this video reflects his opinions at the time the video was recorded. You're about to hear from a patient about his experience with skin symptoms of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma and treatment with Theracose photophoresis. This patient has been compensated by Malincrot for his time in sharing his story. However, the views and opinions expressed by him are his own and do not necessarily reflect those of Malincrot. Please remember that this is just his experience and that every patient's experience is unique. This information does not take the place of talking with your healthcare professional. It is recommended that you discuss the therapy and your conditions with your doctor. The following information is about the use of Uvidex, methoxylin sterile solution, with the Theracose Cellex photophoresis system for the treatment of skin conditions associated with cutaneous T cell lymphoma, CTCL. In the United States, Uvidex methoxylin sterile solution is used with the Theracose Cellex photophoresis system for the treatment of skin problems associated with CTCL in patients who have not responded to other types of treatment given by their doctor. Select important safety information. Uvidex methoxylin sterile solution should only be used by doctors who have special skills in the diagnosis and treatment of CTCL and who have received special training and have experience in the Theracose Cellex photophoresis system. Please carefully review and consider all the important safety information at the end of this video. Please click below for the full prescribing information, including the boxed warning for Uvidex. For more information on the Theracose photophoresis system, please speak to your doctor. I started out with phototherapy, and then I went to topical chemo, and then pills, and then radiation, and then when those weren't managing my skin symptoms, as we had hoped, my doctor suggested photophoresis. I was hopeful this one would work for me, because you get to lay down in the bed, watch TV, talk to your doctors, and you even get to sleep. My healthcare team, I'm being biased, are the best. My doctors, my nurses run the show. They're courteous, they're helpful, they'll listen to you if you have any questions, any issues, they help you through everything. My nurses check to see if I have possible side effects like low blood pressure after my procedure. Rentis of the skin at the injection site and possible fever eight hours after the procedure. They don't let me leave until I put on my special sunglasses that I have to wear 24 hours after the procedure because photophoresis may increase my sensitivity to the sun. After starting treatment with photophoresis, my friends and family saw a change. My skin, was, my skin was less red. I wasn't totally convinced it was helping me until I went on vacation and I missed the photophoresis treatment. And then symptoms of my CTCL began to flare up. I began itching, my skin became hot, and rashes started forming. That's when I realized that photophoresis was really having an effect for me. Of course, this is my experience and everybody else is different. My advice for people seeking out photophoresis as a treatment is talk to your doctors. Have them explain it to you before you go and have your treatment. It's not as intimidating as it seems. Plus, your nurses and your doctors help you get through any and everything that you need, and they make you feel at ease. The following information is about the use of Uvidex, methoxylin sterile solution, with the Theracose Cellex photophoresis system for the treatment of skin conditions associated with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, 
CTCL. It is recommended that you discuss the therapy and your conditions with your doctor. What is Uvidex methoxylin sterile solution? In the United States, Uvidex methoxylin sterile solution is used with the Theracose Celex photophoresis system for the treatment of skin problems associated with CTCL in patients who have not responded to other types of treatment given by their doctor. Important safety information. Uvidex methoxylin sterile solution should only be used by doctors who have special skills in the diagnosis and treatment of CTCL and who have received special training and have experience in the Theracose Celex photophoresis system. Do not use Uvidex if you are allergic to methoxylin, any product similar or related to it, such as sorolin or any of the other ingredients in Uvidex. You have a history of a light-sensitive condition or disease. You have had an eye lens removed. Use of Uvidex in this condition can increase the risk of retinal damage. Warnings. You may be at greater risk of sun sensitivity with Uvidex. Tell your doctor if you're taking other medications that cause sensitivity to sunlight, such as anthralin, coltar or coltar derivatives, griseofulvin, phenothiazines, nalodixic acid, halogenated salicylanolides, bacteriostatic soaps, sulfonamides, tetracyclines, thiazides, and certain organic staining dyes such as methylene blue, toluidine blue, rose bengal, and methyl orange. If you are pregnant or plan to become pregnant, tell your doctor. Methoxylin can harm your unborn baby. Tell your doctor right away if you become pregnant during your uvidex treatment. If you're breastfeeding or plan to breastfeed, tell your doctor. It is not known if methoxylin passes into your breast milk. After Uvidex is given, exposure to sunlight and or ultraviolet radiation may result in premature aging of your skin. Let your doctor know if you currently have skin cancer or if you had skin cancer in the past. If you're given too much Uvidex, you may get serious burns from UVA or sunlight, even through window glass. Avoid exposure to sunlight during the 24 hours after treatment. Exposure to UVA light when Uvidex is used can cause cataract formation if proper eye protection is not used. You must wear UVA light-absorbing wraparound sunglasses for the 24 hours after treatment with Uvidex when you are exposed to direct or indirect sunlight, whether you are outdoors or exposed through a window. If you are being treated for graft versus host disease, GVHD, Consult your physician for information regarding blood clots involving the lung and other parts of the body, which have been reported in these patients. The use of Uvidex for the treatment of GVHD is not approved by the FDA. Safety of Uvidex in children has not been shown. Side effects of Uvidex Side effects of Uvidex used with Theracose photophoresis system are mainly related to low blood pressure. For the Theracose Celex photophoresis system procedure, what is the Theracose photophoresis system procedure? The Theracose Celex photophoresis system procedure is a medical procedure in which blood from a patient is collected into a specialized machine that separates the white blood cells from the other blood components. The other blood components are returned to the patient and white blood cells are then treated with Uvidex, which makes them sensitive to ultraviolet light. The treated white blood cells are exposed to UVA irradiation inside the machine and then returned to the patient. This medical procedure is used to treat skin problems associated with CTCL in patients who have not been responsive to other forms of treatment given by their doctor. Do not undergo the Theracose photophoresis system procedure if you have a condition that makes you unable to tolerate loss of blood volume, you are allergic or hypersensitive to 8 methoxysorolin, methoxylin, or sorolin compounds. Your doctor has diagnosed you with a blood clotting or bleeding problem that can lead to either a blood clot or excessive bleeding. You have had your spleen removed. Warnings for the Theracose photophoresis system procedure. Treatments with Theracose photophoresis system should always be performed where standard medical emergency equipment is available. Theracose photophoresis system procedure should not be performed on the same day as procedures that can cause fluid changes, such as renal dialysis. 
side effects of the Theracose photophoresis system procedure. Low blood pressure can occur with the Theracose photophoresis system procedure. You may get an infection and or feel pain at the site of injection. Fevers of 100 to 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 37.7 to 38.9 degrees Celsius, have been seen in some patients within 6 to 8 hours after treatment. Redness of the skin may also occur with the fever. A decrease in red blood cells can occur if the Theracose photophoresis system procedure is given too frequently. Low levels of red blood cells may cause you to feel tired. These are not all of the possible side effects of the Theracose photophoresis system procedure. Tell your doctor about any side effects that bother you or that do not go away. Call your doctor or pharmacist for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to the FDA. Call 1-800-FDA-1088 or visit www.fda.gov medwatch. You may also report side effects by calling Malincrot at 1-800-844-2830. Please see the full prescribing information, including the boxed warning for Uvidex, at www.theracos.com.